We are live at Studio 45 in U.S. Bank Stadium, where the New England Patriots will be playing the Philadelphia Eagles in Super Bowl 52. I'm your host, Michael Defunction, alongside Owen Zides and Max Tracy, and we are Ammo Sports. Now let's get right down into it with the offensive team advantage. Owen, take it away. Well, I think the Patriots have the advantage in this one. They have Tom Brady, five-time Super Bowl champ, him alone. They have the advantage offense. Okay. Couldn't agree with you more, Owen. I think the Pats have the clear-cut advantage. Tom Brady's going to be fired up and gunning for a sixth Super Bowl, and he's got weapons in Rob Gronkowski, Chris Hogan, and Danny Amendola. So advantage Pats. Yeah, I have to agree with you guys. I mean, Nick Foles, very limited playoff experience. Tom Brady, he is the GOAT. He knows how to play in clutch, tough situations. Advantage Patriots. Now let's swing it to the other side. Let's talk about the defensive advantages. Max? Well, I actually think the Eagles have the advantage on defense because the Pats have been really unpredictable when it comes to how they play at the start of games. I mean, just look at the first half when they played the Jaguars. The Pats just were not making the stops they needed to make, and it took them to the second half to make the adjustments they needed. So, advantage Eagles. Owen? Well, actually, Max, I have the other way around on this one. I think the Patriots have the advantage here. And I'm thinking that because of the stops they can make in the second half. In the second half, Stephon Gilmore came up with a key stop on fourth down, which sealed the deal and moved the Patriots onto the Super Bowl. I think they're going to have it again in the Super Bowl. Advantage Patriots. You know, I, I'm i very torn on this. You know, both two great defenses, but I got to lean Patriots. Stephon Gilmore, great play there, and I think they're going to have more of that, just a more experienced team on the defensive end. Now, Owen, can you tell us about the key matchups of this game? Well, I think the key matchup comes in the backfield. It's the Eagles' backfield versus the Patriots' backfield. Deion Lewis and James White versus LeGarrette Blount and Jay Ajayi. The Eagles are a proven ground-and-pound team, whereas the Patriots are more of a throw-it-out. Tom Brady can throw it out to his backs, and we're going to see um, who has the advantage in this key matchup during the Super Bowl. Great. So now we're going to send it off to our on-field special analyst from Boston Zone, WEI 93.7, Mr. Craig Mustard. What do you have to say? This is the eighth Super Bowl for Tom Brady. Uh, he's been there, done that. Uh, he's had comebacks from 25 points down. He's been in close games. One thing I will say, it's going to be a close game. Tom Brady and the Patriots, for all their dominance over the last 15, 16 years, always seem to make it close in the Super Bowl. What should fans be looking for during the game? Well, I'm really interested in seeing uh, Nick Foles on the other side. Uh, here's a guy that came in, former uh, starting quarterback with uh, the Eagles a few years ago, comes in and takes Carson Wentz's place. And it took him a while uh, to get used to working that uh, Eagles offense, but he seems to be in a groove. He had a terrific game in the NFC. And at the uh, about a month ago when he took over for Wentz, I didn't think the Eagles had any chance of even getting out of the NFC, much less beating the Patriots. Now I think if he can d duplicate that performance, I think he'd give the Patriots a run for their money. And finally, who do you got? It's always close when the Patriots in a Super Bowl. I will say 27 to 24, the Patriots will find a way once again. Well, we'll see how those predictions pan out. As always, thanks for coming on the show. Now, Max, how do you think each city would react to a Super Bowl win? Well, I think there's going to be two very different reactions from both cities. Take Philadelphia, for example. They've been craving a Super Bowl for a long time, and just by getting in, the whole city nearly burned down. I mean, just look at all the videos. Look at the dune buggies going up the rocky steps. You know it's going to be wild if the Eagles win, and maybe if they lose, they might just burn the place down too. As for the Patriots, it's just another Sunday night in early February. I mean, they've been in it so often, it's like we're so used to it now. we got to go back to work on Monday because there's... Now it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for, the final score predictions. And as you well know, I did predict the score for last year's Super Bowl correct. 34-28 New England in the greatest Super Bowl comeback ever. Now, Owen, what do you got for this year? Well, I think the Patriots have this one, 35-21. I mean, the Patriots have been firing on all cylinders in the postseason, um, trying to get to the Super Bowl. Their offense has really been great so far. I think that the, the game against the Eagles is going to be no different. 35-21 Patriots. Max? Well, it's always a close game in the Super Bowl whenever the Pats are in it, and that's going to stay the same again this year. I have the Pats winning 28-24 in a close one, and I think both teams are just going to go back and forth, back and forth, but eventually 
the Pats and their experience will pull through. Patriots 28, Eagles 24. And now for the correct score, make sure to place your bets early. 27-24 New England, and I'll tell you what, he's going to need another thumb. Well, thank you so much for watching this Ammo Sports Super Bowl preview. We hope that you enjoy the game, and have a great day. And remember, go Pats. Go, go Pats.